spoon bending. Psychokinesis, also called telekinesis, is the action of mind on matter, in which objects are supposedly caused to move or change as a result of mental concentration upon them. Spoon bending is only one of several ways in which this can be observed. It is defined as the apparent deformation of objects, especially metal cutlery. Those who cannot explain it either use the word magic trick or try to imply all the thousands of observations are fake. Somewhat like dowsing, it is one of the things numerous people can do, which we are told has not been demonstrated to the satisfaction of the scientific community. Unlike dowsing, however, which has been used for centuries, bending spoons has no practical application, so has attracted less attention. In fact, one commentator pointed out that it was a waste of a perfectly functional piece of cutlery. However, there are scientists who studied the phenomenon extensively. The Metal Benders by John B. Hasted Always to some extent dissatisfied with existing physical theory, I became interested in psychic research when the young Yuri Geller visited England to demonstrate paranormal metal bending on television. Once I became committed by my own observations to recognising that these peculiar physical phenomena really took place, I started to spend time on observations in the belief that the phenomena demanded a new approach in physics in order to explain them. How it all began Spoon bending attracted considerable media attention in the 1970s when a number of people claimed to have the ability to cause such effects. The most famous was Yuri Geller, who performed on television bending metal spoons, keys and other objects. At the time, on BBC TV, a considerable number of children were appearing on Blue Peter and similar children's programmes having great fun bending spoons, until they looked more like Salvador Dali's spoons. This would not have been a coincidence, because Dali was interested in this area too. As such, it was being regarded as somewhat commonplace, although without explanation. When the implications of what Geller could do, after all, if metal can be bent with the mind and at a distance, then so could planes, buildings and bridges you have introduced a new kind of warfare and a concerted effort to remove Gala from TV was begun using such people as a magician investigator James Randi. Randi can bend spoons but he was capable of blocking mental signals and Gala was slowly eased out of the scene. Although his Full range of skills was tested in 1978 at universities like Stanford and we have added this to the playlist. These days such effects are being demonstrated to ordinary people by using spoon bending parties. PK Parties Mind over matter parties were created and perfected by the late scientist Jack Hook in the 1980s. 
By day, he ran a research lab at an aerospace company. And by night, he researched psychokinesis. His research included 16,000 people. And his eight plus years of research resulted in a repeatable methodology which enabled 85% of participants to bend spoons. He found that although the phenomenon is possible with a single person, it gets much easier when a group of 15 or more create a peak emotional experience together. The explanation is that energy follows intention. And that spoons just happen to make great tangible feedback mechanisms. In other words, this proposition works at a more general level. We have added a link below to a website providing more details on PK parties. And we also have a video on Michael Crichton, whose book Travels describes his success with spoon bending at just such a party, and links to both the science of spoon bending and the methods. And although we have a great number of observations of people able to do this, perhaps the work of Professor John Barrett Husted stands out in terms of the research undertaken. Professor John Barrett Husted Professor John Barrett Husted February 17th, 1921 to May 4th, 2002 was a British atomic physicist. He was born in Woodbridge, Suffolk, UK in 1921 in a house next door to where Edward Fitzgerald the translator of the Rubaiyat once lived. Described as a brilliant student, he won a scholarship to Oxford and later in life became head of the physics department at Birkbeck College, London, a post he held until his retirement in 1984. Professor Hasted was the author of Physics of Atomic Collisions, 1964, Aqueous Dielectrics, 1973, and his autobiography, Alternative Memoirs, 1992. What is of interest to this site, however, is his rejection of the direction theoretical physics took in the 60s, and his search to find alternative answers in the thousands upon thousands of observations and experiments rejected by theoretical physicists of his day and his very thorough and extremely carefully planned research into a host of so-called paranormal phenomena his book the metal benders 1981 documents his work from the metal benders by john b hasted psychic research is an underrated branch of science. It is likely to lead to a depth of understanding of reality greater than that which we already have, and the social consequences of such an understanding could be very great. Although many observations have been made and some valuable knowledge obtained about the patterns of psychic behaviour, there is next to nothing which could be described as a theory by which the phenomena might be interpreted. The lack of such a theory has led to the observations themselves being discredited. And indeed, there are various social and psychological pressures which reinforce this discredit. It is an interesting example of the thesis that scientific observations are often judged by social criteria. <laughs>